Lighthearted. Off beat. Of stories that are not necessarily the news. All right, speaking about tea this morning, Tea Garden in America, the only tea garden in America, the Charleston Tea Garden in South Carolina, mm-hmm. is owned by Bigelow Tea Company, but does not produce any Bigelow Tea Company's teas. Oh. I feel like that's not really a, what do they call it? Linear integration. Oh, but, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm get my ruler out. Um, yeah, well, I think they should. <laughs> Why not? I know many companies that you know don't produce any of their own things. So. Yeah, but then they're like, you you make it's not it. Authentic, right? You have the only tea garden, so why not? If, not if it good. was me, it would be the Bigelow Tea Garden. Hello. Yeah, we yeah. will investigate that and see why. You have to pick up yourself. You know what I mean? Anyway, this one now about horses. Um, they're the only animal used as blind guides. They have a very wide range of vision, a range of nearly 350 degrees. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's why um, they have the blinders on them, especially mm-hmm. when they're racing, you know? Right, to keep, keep them focused. Like, you're right, but you see all these horses, you start to go wild. You start running in circles. 350 <laughs> degrees is a lot. Well, that's the whole, that's the whole spectrum, yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, Gosh. pretty cool. They um, are the only guided animals capable of independent eye movement, and they can track potential danger with each eye. Horses can clearly see in almost total darkness. Talk about having eyes in your head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, this one kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. The pointy thing at the front of a train is called a cow catcher. Okay. And it was invented to push cows out of the way of oncoming trains. Really? Apparently. This is what it said. No. Oh, I thought uh, it was some type of aerodynamic. Type yeah, of, yeah. You know. I don't know how you um, add a grill to the car. I don't know. Yeah, it was, I didn't know it was that simple. I just thought it was a design. Okay. So yeah. Lick down cows. That's, you know, a, hey, that's a word. Lick down. Lick down. <laughs> <Or> <laughs> <cows>. <laughs> well, I will lick hope that it does not catch any cows. Yeah. That doesn't not. happen I, anymore. I'm sure it has, but yeah, hopefully. You know, I like to live in a world where all things are happy. <laughs> so, I know, I know. But reality Gosh. sets in. Alright, um, well, Chris, you know what? We talked about learning other l- different languages. Mm-hmm. Um, what language would you like to learn if you could? Maybe French. French. Okay. Ooh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Well, bilinguals experience tip of the tongue moments twice as often as monolinguals. Now, I didn't know if you only spoke one language. I saw it so cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I'm monolingual. She <laughs> only speaks the one language. Okay. <laughs> but processing two languages at the same time comes with a computational cost. Although it's kind of like multitasking, uh, training your brain. Mm. I always thought, well, yes, I've learned Spanish, but I'm not, I'm not fluent where I can just switch back and forth. I have friends like Marina from Italy. Yeah. She can go back and forth and I'm like, wait, but my brain is thinking about English and putting it into Spanish, you know, not just speaking Gosh, Spanish. That's a whole so talent. Difficult. I don't know if people do it. Some people really have that, you know, mm-hmm. act for doing that. And last but not least, there is a species of parasite barnacle that infects crabs by burrowing into their areas and releasing hormones to trick the crab into caring for the parasite as if it were clutching its eggs. It's like an imposter. Yeah, that's... yeah. So next time you have your crab boil, Crispin, you better check for the barnacles. Alright, I'll check. But well, you don't have that problem because yeah, you know you don't see food. That's true, I don't have to worry. But of course, these are some things that are not necessarily the news.